Hi Virgo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Virgo, let's see what are the messages here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Virgo spirit, what does Virgo need to know now? Messages for Virgo and their person. Okay, so three cards for the first person Virgo. Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups and the Hierophant. Uh, the second person, Chariot in Reverse, Knight of Wands in Reverse and the Three of Swords. Okay, Neutral Energies, Six of Cups, Ten of Cups and the Hanged Man. Bottom of my deck, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody wants to know, somebody wants to know, maybe they want to know if the other person is leaving them, walking away from them or are they coming back for a commitment. Uh, they are, uh, I think they, they want this, they want this commitment. The other person, I think they are at a standstill right now. They could be, I don't know, avoiding drama. There could be heartbreak that they are feeling. I don't know what that is. I am going to clarify these cards for you, of course, uh, Virgo. But let's start with some dialogue message cards first. And then I will clarify all these cards and do your mutual energies for you. So, let's see. Uh, Spirit, tell me, Virgo and that person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Virgo and that person. Virgo and that person. Let's take a few more from another deck, Virgo. Virgo and that person, Spirit. Virgo and that person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Just a few more from a third deck as well. And then we'll start the reading, Virgo. Virgo and that person. If they could say something to each other now, what would that be? All right, good to go. Let's start the reading. And Virgo, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You could reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says... I get so triggered seeing you do things for the karmic that I want you to do for me. It pisses me off because we should be together. Why, why are we wasting time for? I feel your energy and I receive your telepathy. I reach out and show you how much I care and offer you support. You read my messages and then I feel you even more but you stay silent. Your telepathy is a contradiction to the silence. I just simply can't understand this. If you love me, let me know and let it show. If you don't love me, please set me free and let me go. That's exactly what I saw the energy of the first person saying, I want to know. Are you going? Are you coming? What, what, what's happening here? I tried to help you with your addictions. But you took me and my love for granted. I was happy and carefree before, but you just kept taking from me. You stole my heart, my love, my light and even my well-being. I am trying to recover from this and heal myself. You really were the best thing that's ever happened in my life. I wake up with you on my mind. Please forgive me for wasting your time. I know I, I wasn't the right one for you. I wasn't ready for unconditional love. I'm sorry I hurt you. You meant more to me than I could ever tell you or show you. I hope we can come, come back together and pick up where we left off. I carry guilt for the way I mistreated you. I was dishonest with you and myself. I lived one big lie. I must admit that I am longing for your touch and your warm embrace. I miss you more now that we are apart. I still feel your presence, your energy around me. I kick myself for sabotaging this relationship. My life won't be the same. 
I fear that you'll never look at me the same. It's hard for me to look at myself in the mirror. All right. So these were some of your messages, Virgo. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start this reading. But first, I'm going to take an angel blessing card. And this is going to be for the viewer, Virgo. So this could be you or your cross watcher watching. So this card is intended for the viewer of the reading. So a blessing, guidance, advice or a message for the viewer spirit. And this card says safe travel. Maybe this is going to be the transition time from one phase of your life to the next. Or maybe somebody wants to come and visit you or you need to go somewhere, travel. So it's going to be a safe travel. But spiritually, this card means you're ending a phase of your life so you can start a brand new one. And the angels will now be directing you to the next phase of your life. You won't be doing things the same way you did. Maybe with the same person or a different person. I don't know. But yeah, this is like completion of one phase of your life, transiting, transiting to the next. Okay, so Spirit, now tell me. Let's start with the first person's energy. Person A for me and the second line is person B for me. Virgo, you could be either one of them. So, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords for person A. What's the Queen of Swords? Yeah, person A is uh, adamant that, you know, we are meant to be. We are meant to be, I lay down the rule, we, we are supposed to have a happily ever after, you are, you are meant to be with me and I'm meant to be with you and I, I think the first person, person A, is hoping that that person will quit the indecision and finally choose the direction and come back to them. They are a little fearful that their wish may not happen because I don't think that has happened yet. Uh, they are still sitting in discontent waiting for their person to make up their mind. They could be feeling uh, maybe their person is walking away from them or emotionally distancing themselves. Yes, the fear is there that things can end. Uh, but from person A's perspective, I do see they want to work on things. They are hoping that their person makes the wise decision and takes positive action towards them because they feel that there is still love here. We are meant to be together. We should have a, a long-term commitment. It is a commitment or we, it should be one. And I'm willing to fight for this connection. Somewhere person A is quite sure that they want to heal whatever's broken between the two of you and the toxicity can go and this commitment can be you know brought back into place the second person spirit uh chariot in reverse why is the chariot in reverse chariot in reverse one more somewhere i don't know this person is stopping themselves from taking any action. Either fe they feel rejected or they could be sitting in some ego or pride or some. I don't know. This person is uh, stopping themselves from moving forward. Uh, Knight of Wands in reverse. Why? Why the Knight of Wands in reverse? Because they know that um, they will have to make that final decision. And that could change things between the two of you, one way or the other. They are emotionally, I think, quite disturbed at this moment. I don't know. They're feeling quite stuck. Uh, they feel, wh why aren't you moving forward then? What's the three of swords? This person, I don't know. This, they're kind of, they don't want to make a foolish decision which can amount to maybe heartbreak or they are a little overwhelmed to say something which they know is going to be the catalyst of a big change or, you know, uh, maybe even end this connection. So it's almost like they're trying to avoid making that final decision. What's the moon card in reverse? They're not sure yet. This person is not sure yet. I think they are trying to find out the truth about how they feel maybe. Sometimes they do feel that yes, I should revive this connection, bring that partnership back. 
take action, try and work things out, but they are trying to delay it for some reason. This person is, why are you delaying it then? Tell me, person B. They don't have the courage to face their person. They need a little more time. They, they are contemplating. They're contemplating that this person doesn't have the courage to come forward. They need, they know they need to open up, but yeah, then they know this. I, if this person is kind of contemplating also, let's say 50%, they're contemplating that I need to say that uh, I'm walking away. They know it's going to lead to some big unhappiness and they may be trying to avoid the final verdict and meanwhile they're trying to make up their mind do I want to revive this connection or do I do I want to walk away so tell me what what are the mutual energy spirit for the first person who's quite sure they want this connection uh, they want their person to return they feel this is a soulmate bond we've known each other for a long time this is important to me we should be together in the ten of pentacles i'm waiting for them i'm stuck on this uh, connection uh, yeah they want to get over the uh, stagnancy that has happened in this connection and uh, yeah they they feel that i still love my person and i'm waiting for them all they need to know is the truth about how the other person feels it's like, are we rebuilding or what? Are you going to invest back into this connection or what? Or are you giving up? So either way, person A says, I need to know so that I can then chart out the next course of my life, I guess. They want that person to come and have an honest conversation with them. I think what's irritating them is that their person is not communicating with them. So tell me about the second person spirit. Why are they not communicating? What's the Six of Cups for them? Six of Cups. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. And uh, the Hanged Man. Same thing again. Yeah, I have a feeling, person B, somewhere I think they are visualizing uh, maybe a passionate brand new beginning, maybe for themselves, maybe an offer to have something stable in their own life, maybe get victory with another direction. But they are avoiding, they are avoiding saying anything because I think they feel it's going to create too much unhappiness or if this is a say a marriage then the children will be affected uh, it's like uh, there'll be a lot of sadness and regret if they shut a chapter um, they're going through a lot of anxiety and a lot of sleepless nights uh, they're confused on the person's spirit says they're right now confused whether they want to rebuild whether they want to invest back into this connection or they do or are they exhausted and tired and want to let go of this existing commitment so this person if they're play they're you know behaving narcissistic or behaving mm, rude or mean it's only because they don't want to make the final decision because they feel whatever decision they make, it may just backfire on them. So it's, I don't know. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, overall energy spirit for Virgo's reading. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is I think the first person came out again, Queen of Pentacles. They are really hoping that their person will take action towards them, will take action towards them and, you know, offer them this, uh, long-term partnership stability when the other person could have maybe two options it's like do I take uh, action towards one person or do I move towards a passionate brand new beginning with maybe a new person I don't know uh, doesn't have to be for everyone but right now person B is only avoiding the conversation because they know that the, the final conversation is going to be the catalyst for this huge change that will happen uh, they do value person a so they, it's like i don't want to hurt them but if i say i'm coming back then that you know 
that's it and if i say i'm moving forward then it's going to create a lot of heartbreak and pain for whoever they're leaving behind so they are trying to just not say anything so that's what i have for you till next time then virgo love and light take care namaste